uh, just knowing you all as chosen people is an immense blessing to me because he revealed it to me. I don't know why my phone keeps doing this. I'm sorry. Anyway, I just want to take this time again to apologize to y'all and to, to lift you up, man. Uh, like I say, you should have been able to contain your joy, man. You're God's chosen people. You really are. May the blessings of God follow each and every one of you, every single one of you. I just pray blessings in your life, man. And uh, white man's reign's over. It's over. It's your all's time, man. Embrace that. Jeremiah 16 and 19. O Lord, my strength and my fortress, my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and they shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things where there is no profit. Call on Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash. Double honors and salutations to Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, and the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth. Grew well, Shalom to you beautiful teachers, Shalom to the 144,000 men, the kingdom, the governing body of the kingdom to come, that are studying this very hour, pushing this word and this truth, and Shalom to the innumerable one-third that consists of men, women, and children that have been blessed with the mark of the wild, which is exempt from the judgment fast approaching. I'm the brother Yazrael from the GMS Dallas camp, coming back at you with another quick hit lesson, All right, and something I do from time to time called Pick 3, Edify V. Well, basically, I pick three precepts and I go into do a quick lesson, a quick hit, get in and out, in and out. Abaratza, meaning Lord willing in ancient Paleo Hebrew, it be edifying unto those who are meant to receive it. All right. So you saw the video here, right? You saw the Edomite. You see, this seems to be the theme that's going on a lot now. Why? Because the word of the Lord is out here. Okay, because the truth is being revealed, and Esau Edom is being exposed. All right, and you're going to have two manner of people within this nation. Those that are going to buck up and fight against it, and those that are going to. And and you know, let me just let me re, let me just reiterate. Some of these people that look like Edomites could very well be Jakes. Okay, I definitely want to make that clear. We're not a boi. We're not a black only Israelite. Okay, and they may just not know that they're Jakes. <clears throat> All right, I want to make that point clear. But nonetheless, neither here nor there. You're going to have some that are going to accept it and just be like, oh, well, it is what it is. And you're going to have others that are going to buck up and fight against it. So you can see this man here and you can see the fear in his voice and the shame because his time has come. He said it. The white man's rulership is over with. Right. Their forefathers came here. They raped, robbed, pillaged. Right. Murdered our ancestors. Right. Did all kind of wickedness destroyed the land, right, to set up their rulership, right, to set up their enterprise or their empire, right, but Job 14.5 says what, the Lord has given him his bounds, created his bounds in which he cannot pass, roughly paraphrasing, and so this is it, and the writing is on the wall, people can see it, Esau can see it, Edomites can see it, the nations can see it, it's over here, it's finished, it's done. America is, is, is it's overdue, it's past. There will be no going back to greatness, okay? That is a thing of the past, ultimately, right? And now these people are starting to see and they're starting to understand, all right? Because there's a changing of the guard. Second Edger 6, 9 says, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. I didn't have that precept. I just got a couple precepts here that I wanted to go into, but I don't want to roughly paraphrase anything. Bob Rathazah, I can help it. I'd rather just pull it and go straight to the book of the law. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 9. You've heard this precept before, but it's speaking loud and clear. All right. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, and it reads, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right, so right now we are in Esau Edom's rulership and we're at the end of his world. Job 14, 5, what I just roughly paraphrased, right? And the nation see it because they've inherited lies. They were told that this place is going to go on forever. This is going to be their kingdom. 
right? That we are at the bottom and they, they, they're the real rulers. They are the people of God, right? With their iconoclasm, with their deceptions, painted the pictures of the Heavenly Father, the judges, the prophets, the men of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, right? Everybody in the Bible, all the Bible characters are all Edomites, are right, to forward what? That white supremacy. But now that the Heavenly Father is waking up his prophets, his men of the Lord, right? It's disrupting this man's hegemony. It's disrupting his rulership, right? And it's a beautiful thing. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab here Lamentations 2. I just got down here, downtown here from work. So what I'm going to do, I brought this out, leave here. I'm going to go over to, um, we got cap set up as the brothers go in. Every Tuesday and every Friday, we come out here in the highways and hedges, preach the words of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. I came here a bit early after work, so I thought I'd come in and get in a quick lesson, something that I'd like to do from time to time. All right, this is Lamentations 4 and 21. Let's just get straight to the point. And it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Edom is Esau. All right? Genesis goes into that. That dwelleth in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through thee unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and shall make thyself naked. You see? And that's what's happening. What's that cup? That cup of iniquity, the curses that were put on us in Deuteronomy 28. Those curses are now getting ready to be passed on to them. You see? So the Lord's saying, What? Rejoice. Why? Because you've reached your end. This is it. So you're Edomite out here, hey man, buy some cars, go on vacation. Okay, because it's getting ready to be closing curtains here. And just like this man said in the video, it's over for, for the white man rule. It's done. It's a wrap. Call hello, how about me? I was shy. It is finished. So rejoice. Go out, party, kick it, do what you need to do because <laughs> there's no sunshine in the morning for you. It's going to be hell for you so-called Edomites, man. You guys are finally getting ready to pay for all of the things that you've done since the garden. Okay, you are that fugitive, that vagabond, all right, that has been escaping from justice in the earth. That's gone all throughout the world, all throughout the earth, man, doing nothing but wickedness. And now you're finally getting ready to pay. So rejoice, be glad. The Lord is getting ready to pass that cup of indignation that we had to drink onto you. You see? We had to drink it, we had to go through it. So now it's your turn, as a matter of fact. Let me get the rest of that verse here let me jump back so like yeah four and was it 19 how's that right yeah four and uh, it's like yeah four and 21 it says rejoice i'm going to start from from the beginning rejoice and be glad O daughter of edom that dwelleth in the land of uz and uz is like into america all right The cup also shall pass unto, unto through to thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. The punishment, here's the point, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Who's that? The Israelites. Jacob. Right? It's accomplished. It's finally finished. It's done. All right, so now the cup must pass. They got to take that shot. And that scripture says a double shot. Ultimately, this says... <laughs> He will no longer carry thee away into captivity, but he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. You see that? And that's what's happening right now. Your shame is being, is being seen and all the world sees it. America is the laughing stock of the nations. The Lord is cold in what he's doing right now. Right? We had to serve that, you know, East Edomites are so fucking proud. You know, you guys just black people, they just need to pull themselves up by their boots. No. It was a curse that was put on us from the heavens. And now you're getting ready to have to hold on to that. You're getting ready to have to drink that cup. Let's see how well you do while we're on top. We're going to see how well you guys are able to move and shake and be about. When we're on top and we're in rulership and your ass is at the bottom and the Lord has them curses upon you. Right? The scriptures let it knows that one 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 and one child shall be one nation shall be stronger than the other, roughly paraphrasing. Book of Genesis talking about Esau and Jacob. We are stronger than you. Okay? 
were mentally stronger than you, spiritually stronger than you, physically stronger than you, you're not going to be able to make it. You're not going to make it. But call hello, y'all, Baba Shema, we're getting ready to see. We're getting ready to watch. You're getting ready to drink the cup of the Lord's indignation, meaning righteous anger. And you see how he did us, slavery, Jake getting shot down in the street, redlining, right? Being put in the Constitution as three-fifths of a human being, right? Injustice on every side, right? All pushed up in the, in, 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 um, in the hood and ghettos, right? So well, now it's your turn. Those that live deliciously on the earth, that walked around in pride and thought it was of your own due. No, the Heavenly Father set you up for a short period of time as a punishment unto us. But now, as the scripture just said, our iniquity has been fulfilled. And so the cup is now getting ready to pass on to you. And you must drink this cup now. Let me grab one here. Said this lesson ain't gonna be too long. I'm just gonna try and get to the points here. And this is beautiful here. So the, this man in this video knows, all right? He knows it's in the air. Something really bad is getting. It is not cool to be an Edomite anymore. That's not the wave. That's not what you want to be in the times that we're coming into. Your kingdom is finished. It is finished. Isaiah 14 and 2. And the people, and this is what's going to happen. Okay? Just going to get straight to the point. And the people shall take them. Matter of fact, I'll start at one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. Right, for salvation. Israel, no other nation. And set them in their own land. Right, because ever since we were exiled out of our own land during the diaspora, we have been at the bottom ever since. That pretty much solidified we would be in poverty and, and, and at the bottom and poor as a nation forever because everyone knows true riches is your land as I always say when you have land you can grow you can cultivate right you can harvest right you can um, you can do traffic and trade you can become a part of the world court right you can have a seat on the UN which we don't have you see you can have a military. We don't have any of that as you so-called blacks and Latinos. You see, your true native land, homeland, land of origin is Israel. That's why all throughout the scripture says, I will give them the land. I will bring you back into your own land. Because that land is going to be the, 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 that's the fertile crescent. That land is going to be where the administration goes throughout the world from that land of Israel, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And all the world is going to have to adhere to. You see? So it goes on to say, I'll start from the beginning. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined unto them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Right. And that's talking about, because as we know, there was a diaspora. Right. It's talking about the, the Israelite foreigners. Right. And it goes on to say. And the people shall take them and bring them in back to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. What's that sound like? Captivity, slavery. Right? And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over the, their oppressors. You see that? So this is what's getting ready to happen. This is what's getting ready to take place. And you can hear it in that man's tonation in his voice. It's over. It's over, Esau. The Lord has made good on his word. You see? That's right, precept I want to give here. Matter of fact, let's 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 see what we're gonna be doing in the kingdom. What's this? Psalms 49. We're gonna start at one. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Right, because we're going to be in the covenant. The new covenant, should I say. We are not in the new covenant now. We are in the new covenant. We will be in our kingdom right now. All right? As the uh, um, elder apostle, I believe it was, a uh, video I was watching, I believe it was the elder apostle, if, I, if, if it's not, if it wasn't you, but 
He said, we're, we're in between the two, basically. Right? We're in between the old covenant and the new covenant, but we're not in the new covenant. Let me reiterate that. We are not in the new covenant yet. This, what I'm reading, and what I just read, that's when we're in the new covenant. All right? Going back to our land, taking the heathens as servants and handmaids. Right? You know, pressing and taking them captives whose captives we were. That's righteous. The power that we serve is a just and righteous power. Okay, you cannot continue to do the wicked shit and not think that that hammer ain't going to swing back in your direction. Of course it is. There's a thing called karma in the world. That's righteous judgment. So let's get it again. Psalms 149 and 1. Praise ye the Lord and sing unto him a new song. And pray... And his praise in the congregation of the saints. Who are the saints? Those who he made a sacrifice with. You read that in Psalms uh, 50 and 5. Right? Who did he make a sacrifice with? The children of Israel. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. And let the children of Zion be joyful in, in their king. Right? And let them praise his name in, in the dance. And let them sing praises unto him. With the timbrels and the harps. What's that talking about? It's talking about being in our mirth. In our jolidity. Right? Woo! Jake gonna be on top. We coming back, baby. I can't, ex there's no words to express that kind of joy. Right? And it goes on to, and that's what the, the, the timbrels and the harps is liking to music. Festivities. Right? It goes on to say, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Possessive. His people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Right. Wisdom of Solomon goes into that. The fifth chapter. This is he. Who we some called had in derision. And called a proverb and a reproach. How is he accounted among the saints? Right. He's going to beautify Israel again man. You're not going to see no more fat ease walking around here. Our women are going to be the coldest things your eyes have never seen. In the new bodies. Spiritual power, sovereignty, rulership. Right? Replenishing the earth back to its better than its former state or its former glory. Here's the point. Let the saints be joyful and glory and let them sing aloud upon their beds. Right? When you're in bed, what are you doing? When you're on your beds, what's that like it to? Meaning you're, in, you're relaxed. You can chill. You see? You're at rest. Man, when you're in bed, you're, you're, you're chilling. You're in luxury. You see? Ooh -hoo. Here's the point. And let the high praises of Yahweh shall be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. For what? To, execu to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Right. The Lord said he's going to raise up kings and judges. Two-edged sword in our hand. A rod of iron busting y'all upside the head. But everything that we're going to do to you is going to be done in righteousness. But scripture says that we shall meditate terrors. So in the new covenant, we have the new bodies, that spiritual power. We're going to meditate spiritually on the things we're going to do to you. In righteousness, though. You see that? And this is beautiful right here. And it says, to bind their kings. Matter Psalms 149 and 8. To bind their kings with chains. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Right. Fetters and manacles. Fetters are, are, are shackles that go on your ankles. Manacles are shackles that go around your wrists. Who are your kings? All of the world's leaders. Right? All your presidents, your senators. All your men in a very high state right now that are sitting lofty. Right? Out of all the nations, all y'all going into slavery because all of y'all had us in captivity. And you all have to pay. That's righteous. Man, when I say the Lord did us in, and you Edomites know, there ain't one Edomite that won't want to trade places with Jake. Y'all know we've been fucked up. Well, you finna trade places anyway. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord. Here's the last verse. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. The judgment written where? In the book. In this book we're reading. Lamentations, mourning, and woes. And judgments in here, man. You can read Esau, Edom's judgment, man. 
Jeremiah 49, Jeremiah 50, 51, Isaiah 34. I mean, we can just go on and on. Revelations 17, 18. You kidding me? Call hello, Yahweh Bahashimi, Yahweh Shai. This is an honor what we're going to come into. And this man in this video sees it. It's over. It's a wrap. Right? As the, high, as the name of this lesson, the Lord will bring thee down. And that's what is happening right now before their eyes. They're being brought low. You're being brought down to the grave, to Sheol. Right? All right, so anyway, I hope this lesson was edifying on to those who are meant to receive it. All right, and as always, we want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakwadash. Shalom.